get with people that are going down the same path, but have already done it, right? Let me say it like that. Somebody that's already been there and done that and been successful at it and get a broad brushstroke look. Most pilots don't understand what career opportunities are available in the world of aviation. They're making career decisions based on advice from friends or posts on internet forums. Meaning they're taking huge risks with their livelihood without having all the details. This podcast was created to help you understand the aviation industry so you can find your dream job. Let's get ready for pushback. Here's your host and my dad, Nick Fialka. Hey, pilot. Welcome to another solo episode. I'm Nick Fialka. I'm your captain for the day. And I hope you are having a great day. I hope you're ready to sit down. I hope you're ready for pushback. And we are going to talk about something I think is one of the most important things, and that is having a mentor and the importance of mentorship. Having a professional mentor is an invaluable resource in your life of aviation. There is nothing more important than having somebody that can help guide you through your career in professional aviation can go a lot of different ways and there's a lot of opportunity and there are a lot of pitfalls and you need somebody that you can rely on and you can ask hard questions to without any fear of reprisal that you can be comfortable being uncomfortable with. And a mentor is a person that can provide guidance and support and that important advice that can help you get to your professional goal. That goal might be right now to get your private pilot's license. That goal might be right now to be a flight instructor or to find a low time pilot job or to get your 1500 hours or get hired by a regional or a ULCC or leave the military and go to an airline or staying in corporate aviation or all the different things, or maybe even just supporting aviation and doing pilot aircraft sales or things like that. Lots and lots of paths. And which one's right for you? And how do you know that? It's so difficult to figure that out. And you need somebody that's been there and that knows, and that you can trust. Man, it is so important to be able to trust that person. You'll find anybody give you advice. All it takes, you go to a Facebook website, you go to a Facebook page, you go to a forum, you put a thing on there, and people will give you hot takes all day long. There is no shortage of hot takes. I am part of this one Facebook group and it's called something like aviation pilot mentorship or something like that. And people will post every day and ask a question and they're essentially looking for mentorship. They're looking for advice, but they don't have anybody. And they have this Facebook page that has tens of thousands of members. They put a question out there and you get so many dirty hot takes, man. And it is, some of them might be good. Most of them are trash. Most of them are uninformed. Most of them are people just shooting from the hip. And that is not how you want to base your career. You do not want to take career advice from the dude that does hot takes, who also complains about where you put the seat when you leave the aircraft or when you should turn the APU on or whatever the thing is. You have to be so careful and you need somebody that you can trust because that is the way you find your success. Oftentimes on that web page, on that Facebook page, I'll go out and I'll just send, even if it's anonymous, I'll say, hey, if you want to talk about this privately, send me a DM. Let's sort this out because I think this is important. And I have a lot of people reach out and a lot of people have no idea who I am on this big page, but not that I am anybody, but that I do have the ability to offer some kind of advice that's a little more than a hot take. (laughs) I just wish that people, especially on these pages that provide advice, would just want to invest in people. And I want you to look for somebody that will invest in you. Social media, it could be an okay place to start, but it's it's also fake. 
it's also like a movie, like living in some kind of fictional movie. When you go on to the Instas and the TikToks and you see the pilot influencers living their best life and all those things, that may or may not be the right avenue for you. And it's probably not. But it is important for you to get out there, especially I think about me, for instance, I don't have any background. Nobody in my family is in professional aviation. Nobody's a pilot that I even knew growing up. There was one guy in town. There was one guy in my little town who was a pilot. And that's pretty much it. If you are like me and you are looking for a mentor, the first thing I would probably do is start going to your local airport and start hanging out at your FBO and chat with people. The people at the desk know everybody. They are really helpful and really useful. And if they're standoffish and give you some rejection and stuff like that, move on, find a different place, but get to know people there. Volunteer over there. See if anybody needs to have the floor swept or Anybody's plane needs to be cleaned or anything like that, but start reaching out, tell people you're interested in aviation and you want to learn and you want more than just the phone number for a flight school. You want somebody to talk to, you want somebody that you can go down the path with. If you're already flying and you are already moving in that direction and you are trying to get to that next step, this is where the professional organizations are really good. Like professional pilots of tomorrow, right? I had Jessica Ortega on many episodes ago. She talked about that organization. I have a lot of friends that participate in it. I just think as far as a mentorship game, that's what they do. Like that's all they do is mentor people and give them scholarships. Like that's their whole focus. Right now, I look at organizations like PAPA or LPA. Uh, PAPA is a professional Asian pilot association. Please, I hope I got that right. LPA is the Latino Pilots Association, OBAP, the Organization of Black Aerospace Professionals, NGPA, the National Gay Pilots Association, Women in Aviation International. The list goes on and on and on and on. If you are a person who can invest in one of those organizations and participate, they also can provide you with really good mentorship. They have people that volunteer to help the next generation of the pilot community. And you don't have to be of a certain heritage or uh, preference or any of that to join these organizations. You can be totally different than everybody else. And you are still part of the community. Why? Because you're a pilot and you have interest in aviation and that is awesome. And they lift that up and they want to celebrate that. And if you are banging out hours and moving yourself forward without any kind of real guidance and just kind of looking at a couple people that are your same age, that are just slightly ahead of you, that may or may not be the best path. And it's probably not the best path to have that as your only source of information. And if you're going to the forums and reading up on things like that and trying to make life decisions based on what's on the forums, Guess what? Also, not a great solo thing to be doing. If that's your silo, it's not a great silo. You need to expand out. Take a little bit of what they're saying and think about it, but then get with people that are going down the same path, but have already done it, right? Let me say it like that. Somebody that's already been there and done that and been successful at it and get a broad brushstroke look. If you talk to a person that's only flown cargo their entire life from the time they were flying single pilot to the time they are at FedEx or UPS, you're probably going to get a little bit of bias. I mean, you have, that is what it is. If you talk to a person that's only done military stuff their whole life and they've been in 30 years, you're probably going to get some perspective that like, Hey, the military is like the best way to go. It may or may not be. It depends on who you are, but what you really need is a trusted advisor, right? Somebody that can provide you guidance and support and encouragement and tell you when you're wrong and help you make those decisions. And really like there's this interesting line between professional mentor and a person in your life that is your dear friend that you confide in and you can talk about anything with. I, my mentor, Michael, that's how we are. He started off just giving me life. I would bounce life questions off him. 
about going to college or joining the military or this or that or the other. That was when I started when I was 16. I'm now in my 40s and I still talk to him every single week. He's in his 70s. I mean, we've spent our whole life together, or at least my whole life. And I love that. And I'm so thankful for that. And he's like my second father. And it didn't start out like that. Your mentor might just be professional, but if this person comes into your life and becomes so important to you that you can't imagine your life without them, that's how you know you've found an awesome diamond. And I hope that you can because it might start out, hey, go do this. Hey, go do that. Hey, I don't think you should do this or that. But Life happens. And when you're vulnerable and honest with people, that is the place where you dive deeper and you get greater human connection. And we talk about how important jobs are and all this stuff, but really what's most important is your human connection and your ability to love and be loved. And this idea of a mentor, if you're using it transactionally to just get some advice and move on, just delete this podcast right now and move on because those are not the people that should be listening to this podcast because this is about diving deeper into who you are as a man or a woman and understanding your strengths and where your strengths transition best in the professional world. Why? Because you spend most of your life working But you want that job to make you a better person. If you're a better man or a woman because of the things that you are doing in this lifetime, this short lifetime that you have, that's when you know your life is a success. If it's drudgery and you're just doing it to get a paycheck, you get the hell out. Get out. Like You don't need to be doing this. You're not helping humanity dragging your feet. But you are a person that should help humanity and grow and make your mark on this world in aviation. And if that's who you are, have somebody that will help you celebrate that and do it to the best that you can because you have this job to find self-worth and to provide for you and your family. And that's pretty much it. And so if you are not getting that, if you are not making the world better doing what you're doing and a mentor is somebody that is just somebody telling you, hey, go to that job, they pay more, go to this one, they pay more. What is the point? What is the point? You need somebody that will challenge you. You need somebody that will call you on the carpet. You need somebody that will encourage you and love you. And that can be a funny thing. That can be a tough thing, especially if you are a person that's been spending their life with a little wall around themselves and being comfortable in your self and nothing else. And if you have a mentor that can help you get past that wall and find your vulnerability, you're going to be better in everything that you do. So go out there. Find somebody that can help you reach out. Talk to the people in your network. Find out who their mentors are. Look for colleagues who have moved past you or started before you and see who they recommend. Once you find someone, it's up to you to foster it and to grow it because if you are not reaching out and you are not consistent, then it will just die off and you'll just have had a person that you could ask a couple questions to and then life moved on. You need to be deliberate and diligent about it. I literally talk to Michael, my mentor, every week. I've been doing that for decades. And I mean, before cell phones, man, like he has been intentional. He listens to the podcast. He's going to hear this. He's going to call and like yell at me because he's awesome. Put them on your Christmas card list. Let them like find out when their birthdays are. Let them become a part of your family. Don't hold back 
on the same plane, I will say, don't go crazy with it. Cause sometimes you can seem like a stalker if you just go like totally nuts all up front. You need to really bring them into who you are and know who they are and become a freight unit with them that has a deep friendship and a deep level of trust. And that's so important. That's when you get the most out of it. You see how I'm not even really talking about aviation today. Generally we are, but this person in your life will be so much more impactful if you go about this the right way. So I want to encourage you to do that. I want you to find somebody that can help you because it really is an essential step, not only in your career development, but in your life development as well. Get out there, find people that are interested in helping, find organizations that can lead you to people that can help, and then stick with it. Find somebody that tells you things that are impactful in your life. And if you do that, You're going to have a great career and you're going to have a great life because that friendship will be deeper and stronger and you'll be a better person. I know that I am. Michael makes me a better person every day. And that is amazing. So I encourage you, go out there, find a mentor and stick with them because it's awesome. And I think that's probably all I've got to say today. I hope that you enjoyed this and guess what? I'll see you on Monday with a new interview. Hey, before I let you go, I need to mention one thing because a lot of people are asking me, can you do anything? Can you help me with this? And the answer is yes. At Spitfire Elite, we will make more millionaires this year than Major League Baseball will make in the next five years. Our company actually does this. It's called Spitfire Elite Interview Consulting. And you can find us over at SpitfireElite.com. Our clients, they call us the easy button for interview prep because everything you need to crush your interview is there in one spot. Whether it's application review or interview prep, all of it is covered. We've helped thousands of clients who are now flying at their dream jobs because our coaches gave them the one-on-one feedback that they needed to succeed on the biggest day of their life. The best part of Spitfire is our community. All Spitfire clients will get access to our private chats where they can work with each other and they can work with our coaches and get the latest information on all the airlines. If you'd like to make sure that you are 100% ready to go on your big day, there is only one choice. Everything you need is in one place and I think it's pretty affordable. You'll have to take a look for yourself. Just go over to SpitfireElite.com and check us out. Use the coupon code podcast and it'll save you 10%. And by the way, I will see you on the next episode. The statements made on this show are my own opinions and do not reflect, nor are they under any direction from my employer.